ABC 27's Veronica Vernaccio found out how this is going to help provide more affordable housing to families in need. In the past three years, the city of Tallahassee has sponsored 11 homes through Habitat for Humanity, which is meeting an increasing need in our community. So the homes are for low income, first time home buyers. Nicole Everett is the president of the Big Bend Habitat for Humanity. She says the city is giving the nonprofit $195,000 and three city lots to build the homes on. The nonprofit has been able to build homes in the past, starting between $120,000 to $130,000 dollars for a mortgage. Now, according to Zillow, the median price of a home in Tallahassee is $183,000, which is a 7.5% increase in the past year. So many of our residents are now being priced out of uh, being able to afford a home. And when you talk about affordable housing, I don't want people to think that you're necessarily talking about people that are poor. Karen Miller is the executive director of the Tallahassee Lenders Corsorium. Her organization works with the Habitat for Humanity to help people apply and receive affordable housing. Then we work with them on their credit to help them get credit ready to be able to go out and seek financing. People who qualify for their programs range from a two-person household making about $48,000 or less a year to a five-person household making about $65,000 or less a year. In the past year, Miller says they've been able to help more than 690 people seeking housing. Coming up at 6, I'll explain what TLC is currently preparing for and how they're worried about future homes in our community being foreclosed. Reporting in downtown Tallahassee, Veronica Vernaccio, ABC 27. They don't know where the new houses will be built, but previous projects have taken the nonprofit about 60 to 90 days for construction.